a sleek structure of steel and glass. The Shanghai Tower in China is officially the world's second tallest building. The 120 floors of the 632-metre structure will make it the tallest building in China, but in the world, it's just under 200 metres lower than the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. That, however, is something that could actually be a blessing in disguise, as it means China might avoid the world's tallest building curse. When the Sears Tower, the Petronas Towers and the Burj Khalifa were all built, there was a recession immediately after. The Shanghai Tower is opening in time for China's slowest economic growth in a quarter of a century, raising concern of another fall. But architect Marshall Strabala, who also helped design the Burj Khalifa, isn't worried. I think one of the most profitable skyscrapers in the world is the Empire State Building. But for the first 10 years, it didn't make any money because it was opening during a recession. I think that goes back to the, sky, the world's tallest building curse. There was a recession right after that. But now it's one of the most successfully rented buildings in the world because it's iconic, people know it, and people want to be in it. The Shanghai Tower is set to house mainly financial institutions and government agencies.